So today, guys, we're covering a story from Leeds about a man named Clifton Junior Bryan, who was a notorious gangster and drug dealer who had a feared reputation across the city back in 2000. His gang brought shootings and violence to Leeds that saw four people die in just the space of two months, including Brian himself. Would-be killers had tried twice before to dispose of Clifton Junior Brian. In his most recent escape two months ago, they opened up with a handgun and a shotgun. But the sheer physical strength of the 29-year-old Afro-Caribbean allowed him to escape and get to hospital. Shotgun pellets peppering his back and two pistol bullets lodged in his stomach. His rivals had tried to kill him twice before, but the sheer physical strength of the 29-year-old meant that he managed to escape with just bullet wounds. But he turned down West Yorkshire police protection whilst he was recovering despite two attempts on his life. However, his luck finally ran out in May 2000. He was found murdered by a dog walker, laid out in a car in the Hare Hills area of the city. The bodies of Clifton Bryan, of Spencer Place, Chapel Town, Leeds, and Dennis Wilson of Doddington Close Moss Side. Their bodies were laid out in a P registered Rover, 220 car neatly parked in the Hare Hills area of Leeds on a Monday morning, and was discovered by a man walking his dog past the car. Clifton had been shot twice in the back of the head, and Mr. Wilson once in a gangland style execution. Police inquiries revealed they had been killed in Manchester before their bodies were driven to Yorkshire and his death marked a troubling escalation of gang activity in the city, which was described as highly unusual by police at the time. Four people had been shot dead, and six seriously injured in the space of just two months in Leeds. The violence began on March 12th, when a 41-year-old man was shot in the legs outside of a pub in Moortown. The just three days later car dealer Craig Murfield, 34, was blasted to death inside his car, as he tried to evade a gunman near his home in Gipton. The next victim was a 29-year-old man shot and wounded at his home in the city on March 27th. On April 12th, a man of 23 was shot in the leg as he opened his door in Har Hills. More shots were reported to police later that evening in Old Colton Village. Then on April 16th, a known gangster called Frank Burley was murdered. Shortly after, a 29-year-old man was shot in both legs by three men who lay in wait for him at his home. It wasn't long after that, Clifton and Wilson were both found shot in the back of the head after being driven back to Leeds from Manchester. The killers of Clifton have still not been found, 